you are looking at the worst end of each one of these three blanks. This one here has one crack, but it looks like it's been filled. This one here, it was only done once with a cactus juice. This one here had the Rogers procedure. In other words, it was done twice. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so uh, it looks like these cracks are all filled though. I'm hoping that it's filled all the way down. I'll zoom in a little closer so you can see. Now I think that looks pretty good, at least for cactus juice. And as I mentioned in the last episode, cactus juice is not meant to fill cracks, unless they're really small. Now I realize I could probably put this in the lathe and start turning and get rid of this knot, but to make it just a little easier here, I'm going to just remove these. I don't want to risk breaking this in case there is a bad void in there that I don't know about. And this and the chisel would be constantly catching on this. And there's a danger I could maybe break it. Now I'm sorry, I forgot to push record, so you missed this cut. I'm going to do the worst one first. I'm really anxious to see just how bad it is on the inside. Noticing right here oh, there's a little crack. I don't know if it's filled or not. I can see uh, where it's filled right there, but I don't know about right there. Anyway, we'll see what happens as we get in. And my plan is, what I want to do is I'm going to turn it down almost to the diameter that I want. If I'm coming to open cracks, I'm going to fill the cracks with maybe CA glue or possibly epoxy and then turn it down the rest of the way and sand it. I think that might work. I'll know by the end of the day. I'm hoping by the end of the day I got three Sierras to show you. Anyway, let's get at it. Well, those cracks are filled. Well, I guess the trick now is to get it turned down to the right size, which isn't actually a whole lot smaller than what we see right there. But these cracks are filled, that's good. Even this little crack in the knot is filled. So it worked out really good. Anyway, let's hope it doesn't get worse as I go down.
Well, my thinking at this point is, perhaps I could put a little CA there. Although maybe not. Could be that the uh, polish will fill that. I think the polish will probably fill that and get rid of those little white spots there. But I'm going to do the rest with the sandpaper now. See how it looks when I take it down the rest of the way of the sandpaper. Only be about a hundredth of an inch. I'm going to start out with 220, then 400, then 800. And here we are after the 800. I'm going to use the cut and shine polish now. And the first application of that, it's going to show us pretty much what it's going to look like. We're doing about 300 RPM right now. I'm going to try not to touch the metal bushing with this stuff because as I mentioned in almost every video it'll take the metal. There is actually an abrasive in this polish. I can almost sort of feel it. I'm going to speed it up just a little here. That's about 600. See where it's darkening there on the paper towel? That's actually metal. So I want to wipe from the middle of the blank out. Try not to uh, get those iron filings embedded in the uh, wood. Okay, let's buff it a bit. Well, this is pretty much how it's going to look. It's not going to change a whole lot. You can see a little crystallization right there. Kind of spoils it in a way. Or maybe not. This is going to be the nib end, by the way. Sort of tapers this way. Gets smaller towards this end. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead now and do the other two. And we'll see what we've got by tonight. I do have other things that I have to do yet today, so... I uh, may not get the pens made. We'll just see how it goes. Now all four of those are your standard Sierra twist pen. But notice, this one has a longer transmission and a shorter nib end. This one has a shorter transmission and a longer. I never saw that before. Everything else was the same. Tubes were the same length, everything was the same. Now you'll notice I've turned down an extra one of these. This is that one that you saw me turning. And then the other one was this one here. Then I turned down another one, and I believe it was this one. This was the darker one. It was the, it was the one that was squared up like a standard blank. And you can see it's much darker. Anyway, I'm going to press them all together and see what they look like. Now, I have already learned that People like to see the character flaws, so don't cover the flaw, if you want to call it a flaw, with a clip. Okay, and press. Okay, now I've already got the other ones 
all lined up and ready to go, so we'll just do them in mass production here. Makes more sense to me. Okay, that's it. Now let's see if the protective caps come off better on this one. Yeah, that one came off good. This one is already off. That one came off easy. That one came off easy. Okay, this should go really fast. I think, I think it's supposed to go this way. Yeah, there we go. And once again, I don't think it matters which one we put on which. Okay, that one's working. Just check it out. Yeah, that one works. Yeah, that one works. And the last one. Now we won't do the test until the end of this series. Do that after the cigar pen is done. All right. There. Now oh, they all match. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching.